learning how to perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation and use an automated external defibrillator can save lives. A group of district services and community care team members and volunteers are preparing to do just that by attending a fire services department training course with the aim of increasing a person's chance of survival. Both the Southern and Chunwan district services and community care teams were launched a month ago. While some team members are being taught these life-saving techniques, some volunteers are learning other specialized skills, all with the goal of providing better services to those in need. Many elderly people need the support of handrails when using the bathrooms. We can install handrails for them, as we have learned to use drills to install screws in concrete walls. Some care team members are charged with organizing activities to promote family harmony, such as arranging photographers to take family portraits for residents in their sub-districts free of charge. The care team members strengthen community support and build relationships as they are entrusted with visiting the elderly and residents from time to time in an effort to understand their living conditions and needs. The care teams play the role of facilitator in the community. Uh, they can enhance um, the connection among different groups of residents in the sub-district and uh, to facilitate the communication between the residents of the sub-district and the government departments with a view to improving uh, district governance. The main duties of the care teams are as follows. First, to consolidate the community resources and forces to support the government's district work and strengthen the community networks. And second, to organize some caring activities, such as visiting the Liti. Third, to assist in handling emergency incidents. And fourth, to help the government disseminate information to the public and reflect the views of, of the public to the government. Additionally, the care team members spare no effort to help residents in need when emergencies strike. We are in the Abney Chow estate. Because of the urgent repairs of the water mains, uh, the water supply will be suspended for an extended period of time. Whenever residents they are not good at walking, our volunteers will help carry fresh waters to their flats. The care team can play a very good role in connecting the government and the people, especially those in need. They know the community well, they know the residents, they have been in regular contact with them to care about them. Therefore, they can actually help bring this very useful information to them and also help them to apply for various services when needed. As announced in the 2022 policy address, such care teams will be set up in Hong Kong's 18 districts. While the Southern and Chunwan District services and community care teams have already been launched, it is expected that care teams in the remaining 16 districts will gradually be set up in the third quarter of this year.